rapper coming to the stage, he's undisputed, man, when it comes to bars, metaphors, punchlines, poems, delivery. Man, this is the incomparable. He's the motherfucking, uh, uh, this, yeah. Y'all give it up for Fred, the motherfucking guy. <laughs> Yo, Fred, man, what's happening, baby? How you feeling, Fred? It's good, man. Hey, man, welcome to Party and Bullshit. Welcome back, should I say. Yes, sir. Hey, you remember how we started, right? On Party yeah, and Bullshit when you were at DTL? It was crazy. It was crazy. It's just what dope, you think though. now, baby? This is dope. You stepped it up. I stepped it up a little bit. Stepped I it up. Harlem. Stepped it up. Come on, man. Real talk. S.O. S.O. With this Paramount. We in Hollywood right now. Okay. Harlem, uh, L.A., <laughs> Hollywood, if that's the address. <laughs> we got big dreams. Got big dreams. Hey. You also have big dreams, man. How long you been doing it, and how did you get your start, sir? Uh, probably say like 15 years. Um, just rhyming in the streets. You know, you from New York, man. From the Bronx, man. And you coming from an era where back in the days, people used to stand outside Hot 97, try to give Case Lay his, like, the yeah. demo tape. And just, like, how do you feel, like, wh what has changed from then to now? Oh. Uh, you still got to do that? Do you still? There's, you there's people clearly, that still yeah. that still do that. But, um. Would you, do, you miss those, do you miss those days at all? A little, yeah, a little bit because it was, the grind was harder. Now, it's the computers took, and the, you know what I'm saying? It's like, you just over. add them and just yeah. think that he's going to um, hear you. Yeah. And wh wh why does that, like, kind of dumb down the, uh, you know, whole? No, nah, because it was the grind. It was um, everybody outside. It was interacting with one another. And it was important. Like, you would see everybody in the streets. and um, You're saying the game lacked passion now? Yeah, of course. So okay. Do, so do you think that back then you you give your, your um, CD or your tape, your cassette tape, to whoever you want to give it to? But a lot of times we all know that you're going to toss it. You know, you, do you think that now, being that social media is what everybody does, do you think that it's faster that somebody's going to hear your music now? Do you think that... You know, or do you get lost in the show? Right. It might be, but but now that it's social media, it's millions of people at one time, right. like zooming in, yeah. like a dude. Like I I open up my things and I can't even read everything. Uh, I mean, you know, wow. so I can imagine the but higher you're up. You're scrolling down your timeline. You're you hearing everybody like who like whatever unsigned signed artists. Mm -hmm. So when you hear somebody that's fired, are you like, oh, I gotta get them in the studio, like? Do you do that? It, you know, it, it's like, rare that that happens, but <laughs> no, I'm, I'm not trying to be funny. I mean, I would think that it's just a little easier for people who are trying to get noticed. You know what I'm saying? Than than to stand in front of Hot 97 to be like, "Yo, here, take my." It's it's easy and it's harder because like 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 I was saying, everybody's on social media, but. Sometimes when you outside of Hot 97 and you face to face with that dude, That's true. and not just give up that one time, like say, oh, I gave him the CD, mm -hmm. he gonna listen. But if you there mm -hmm. all the time, consistent, right. you know, I'm definitely he, old school. You know, so. you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, I like her, man. She's doing her homework. So crazy. Yeah. New fans? She's so I can get you Go, go, go. Hey, Leanne, chill. Chill. <laughs> we got Freddie God son here. Yeah, yeah. Man, you got to let us borrow some bars, bro. Yeah. You got to let us we get on our feet. Yeah, I'm a bad boy. I'm too. Yeah, I'm a bad boy. I'm too fat. I'm a bad boy. I'm too fat. Cut it off. I'm a um, son, quick. It's the theme song of Narcos. Got the cream long in the car goes. Back seat, got the beam on as the car goes, the odds grow. No room for that Fred the God flow. We need simplicity. 
Well, listen, B, some shit you just ain't gonna get. Don't speak in my presence if you ain't talking about my gift. They acknowledge it, so they follow it. Thoughts hard said I should be involved in politics now. I think Donald Trump's the new Hitler, and I think Bush pussy like that Amber Rose picture. Oh. <laughs> Scriptures. Exodus, Deuteronomy, everything costs, but of course, don't pay no mind to me. Get the brick, get the scale, probably start to get sick of cells. Rest in peace, prodigy. <laughs> I'm still that rapper that you kicked it to, so I'm a raise havoc till he get to you. Ridiculed in the kitchen, know what that life do. Every Friday, I tuck her after the ice cubes. Never we worry, we guard the street. We Kevin and Curry with this Thompson, we hard to beat. I told my boy to make me some harder beats. I get a bars to you and watch you and your barber beef. These rappers lean on me. I'm invincible. Morgan Freeman's my neighbor. I live by the principle. Know when I spit at y'all, it's a gift to y'all. I'm not a one-hit wonder. You wonder every ball. With chess, I'm Bobby Fisher. You more like a wonder, bro. Gold though here. Fred the God.